Today I'm listening to Monica Naranjo sing Vivir Así Es Morir De Amor. Keep watching. Hi everybody, it's Christy Bovey with The Voice Love Company. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell below so you don't miss a single video or when I go live. Come take a lesson with me. Click on the link below and I'll see you at your next private voice lesson. Now let's get started. So this has been a huge request from you Monica Naranjo fans. I'm always interested to see how Monica approaches her songs. She is just such an incredible performer. Let's not delay this any longer. Let's dig in. Nice choir and orchestra. Siempre se me nubla la razón y me domina el corazón. No sé luchar contra el amor. A very different sound for her. Interesting. Siempre me voy a enamorar de quien de mí no se enamora. Es por eso que mi alma llora. Ya no puedo más, ya no puedo más. Siempre se repite esta misma historia. Y ya no puedo más, ya no puedo más. Estoy harto de rodar como una novia. Ooh, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is such a departure from the other things I've heard her do. I really like it a lot. Loving the sound with the orchestra and the, the vocals from the choir coming through are just so beautiful. This is so intriguing. I'm really looking forward to hearing what happens next. Where does this song go? Let's get back in. Wow. Wow, this is so fascinating. I am loving this. I'm so amazed by her. It, just to hear her kind of float up into that more head voicey space, there's a real intention to way, the way she's singing this particular song. I'm really looking forward to listening to this one again as we deconstruct it. So make sure you keep watching. That'll be in just a minute here. Okay, gosh, I gotta stop. I'm like so engrossed. I cannot believe this. This is absolutely fantastic. How fun would this be to sing in front of a, a big choir and orchestra like this? She's killing it. Oh my goodness. She truly, she could really do everything. And this is such a departure from the first video that I listened to, the Europa, I guess it was, maybe. I'm just, I'm thinking of like the scope <laughs> of everything that I've seen her sing. I'm speechless. Let's see how this plays out. Here we go. Wow! 
seriously. Yeah, that lady's saying I've got goosebumps. I have goosebumps too, lady. Goodness sakes, oh my gosh. Okay, I can hardly wait. Let's deconstruct this one just a little bit more. That was absolutely glorious. I love all the different tone qualities she manages to put into this one song, and especially this new sound that I haven't heard her make before in this first verse. Siempre se me nubla la razón y me domina el corazón. No sé luchar contra el amor. There's a childlike innocence to it. It's kind of a heady, mixy space. Siempre me voy a enamorar de quien de mí no se enamora. Es por eso que mi alma llora. I find it interesting too, the way she's singing, kind of with her head tilted. Normally if I saw a student doing that, I would encourage them perhaps not to, <laughs> because it definitely puts your larynx at a, an interesting space. I'm wondering if maybe that's helping her get that sound in some way, or if it's just where she feels most comfortable singing it like that. But then she just continues to sing on in this same heady, mixy space. So it's very childlike, very innocent, very sweet. And then she goes up into that She goes up into the head voice and comes back down. Really beautiful. And then she stays up in the head voice there for a little bit. It's very classical, very that recitative, operatic kind of style. And then we turn the corner and the real Monica, her incredibly powerful voice shows up. One thing that Monica is so good at is a dramatic sound, and her voice just lends itself so well to this orchestra choir dramatic kind of vibe. It's incredibly effective. <laughs> And mad props to the orchestra and choir who just sound so glorious. I can only imagine how incredible this would feel to front this kind of an operation. To be able to sing in front of an orchestra and choir like that would be incredibly satisfying as a musician. I'm just so impressed with Monica Naranjo as a performer. She has the whole package. She's got a really interesting voice. She's very much the performer. She's lovely to look at. And she obviously has an ability to pick material that is so incredible. Monica Naranjo is really fearless. To me it seems like she makes really gutsy choices in her music and it's so inspiring. 
I want to be Monica Naranjo when I grow up. That's all there is to it. Well, that's it for me today. Like if you liked it, subscribe, and don't forget to share with someone you know loves Monica Naranjo. You can ask me any question about your voice in the comments down below, on my blog at voicelove.co, on Instagram at the Voice Love Company, and now on wizio.com. Get all those details in the description box below. As I come away from this video, just the thought about gutsy choices comes up for me. What gutsy choices am I making in my life? What gutsy choices are you making in your life? Keep finding your voice, keep making your sound in the world today. The world is waiting. Literally, somebody is praying for what you bring. And remember, you are loved. Bye, guys.